Welcome to Electra Online, and in this exercise, we are given the angle in the opposite side of a right angle triangle. Here's a right angle triangle, 90 degrees. We're given this angle to be 15 degrees. We're given this side to be 5 centimeters, and we're looking for A and for C. Notice that sometimes the sides are not called X, Y, and hypotenuse. They can be called A, B, and C. They can be called anything. And because of that, it's always good to write the basic definitions of your trigonometric functions. We're trying to find C and we're trying to find A. Now, what we're going to do is label these. So C is the hypotenuse, H. This here is the adjacent side because it touches the angle, it's next to the angle, so this is called the adjacent side. And we can just write ADJ for simplicity. And here, this is the opposite side to the angle, so we call this the opposite side opposite side, and just OPP for short. All right, now we want our basic trigonometric identities. Well, we have two that are very practical, the sine and the cosine, because the sine relates the opposite side to the hypotenuse, and the cosine relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Now, notice that if you use the sine, and you relate the opposite side to the hypotenuse, you know the opposite side, you don't know the hypotenuse, you can go ahead and find what the hypotenuse is equal to. So in this case, you can say that the sine of theta, by definition, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And in this case, you do not know what the hypotenuse is, so you can say, therefore, we can say that h is equal to the opposite side divided by the sine of theta. Now, the reason why this works is because I do know what the opposite side is, and I do know what, I do know what the angle theta is equal to, so I can find the sine of theta. In other words, if I want to find h, the hypotenuse, h is equal to the opposite side, which is 5 centimeters, divided by the sine of theta, and theta is 15 degrees, so that's the sine of 15 degrees. Now all you need is a calculator to figure this out. So you can say, all right, h is equal to 5 divided by 15, take the sine of that, equals, and it's 19.3. So that means the hypotenuse is equal to 19.3 centimeters. All right. Now what about the adjacent side? So now that we know the hypotenuse, we could use the cosine to solve this, or I can simply do it this way. I know the opposite side, I don't know the adjacent side, and I know the angle. There's another trigonometric function that might help me. For example, the tangent of theta, by definition, is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And since I'm looking for the adjacent side, I can write this as the adjacent side is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the tangent of theta. Since the opposite side is 5 centimeters and theta is 15 degrees, I can then take the tangent of 15 degrees, take that ratio, and that will give me the value for the adjacent side. And remember, the adjacent side is equal to A. So A, which is equal to the adjacent side, is equal to that ratio. And what that is that equal to? So we take 5 divided by the tangent of 15 equals, and it's 18.7 centimeters, 18.7 centimeters. And so that's how we find A, and that's how we find the hypotenuse, and that's how we do that.